In this class, you will briefly review commands used for extruding objects in AutoCAD. There are several commands used for this. We will take a look at some examples applied to daily project fields and design tasks. Let's begin. We will use some practical examples to understand the subject better. On the link panel, you can see extrusion tools for adding solid material to sketches. The most common one is Extrude, which you enable typing EXT. Use this tool to add material using various geometries to sketches and even define extrusions by inputting the path. Take a look at this example. You enable the path option for this command, select a path to a two-dimensional geometry instead of just inputting a numerical value. The most common way to apply this command is in a 2D geometry and then input a numerical value for the extrusion. Observe this example. Another interesting command for creating three-dimensional geometry is loft. Loft adds material in the space between two or more selected sections. See, in this example there are two geometries. Let's enable the loft command and add material in between. See how we create a solid. Let's use the shell command to generate a solid from the shell. Remove the material inside and define a 5 mm thickness. Use the copy command to make some copies of this model and draw ice cubes. See, now the model is ready. Let's apply another command to add material to the sketch. Revolve. This command is used a great deal to sketch glasses, dishes and cups, objects drawn around a rotated axis. Enable the command and select the 2D geometry to show the rotational axis. See, it is so easy and quick to finish the model. Sweep is another interesting option for generating three-dimensional models. It creates a solid object or surface from a path, starting from a two-dimensional geometry. In this example of the cup, you sketch the shape of the handle by following this path. Enable the command, click the desired geometry for the shape, and then input the path. See how simple it is to use. This way, you can create more complex and elaborate models. You can also use the push-pull command to create solid models in the program. Let's create objects by selecting an area. Take a look at this example. Enable the command, select the inside of the geometry and input the height value. This command is useful for creating raised sketches in the architectural field. Besides creating objects, this command also creates holes. See this. Sketch a geometry on this face and enable the command. Input the path for the command to remove material and see all the walls where the object will be cut out. So in this class you have learned some interesting options for sketching 3D models and so it is important for you to practice these new tools in AutoCAD 2010. 
They are so effective when used correctly.